Uh, next up, I'd like to introduce Dr. Jeff Heyman, uh, who will be saying a few words. He is the Dean of the School of Business and the Professor of Economics at Cedarville University. Dr. Heyman. Thank you, Kyle. Uh, first of all, thanks to all of you for being a part of today's event. We're, we're very excited for this first virtual event we have to be able to, uh, to share some of what we're doing here at, at Cedarville. And it's, it's a welcome respite from some of the, the ongoing things that are going on in the world today. It, the cultural slide, the kind of the, the, the chaos that seems to be reigning all around us, we need more than ever to be standing firmly on what God is doing in our own lives. And it also suggests that we need to be, have more biblically minded people in the world uh, speaking to whatever the issue is. And, and so uh, we, we know that more than ever, we need Cedarville graduates standing for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. And this is no more apparent than in business itself. Uh, you know, 15, 20 years ago, a business was simply trying to ride the, the fence, so to speak, in terms of any issue that was there. And now, unfortunately, in many cases, on, certainly on many of the cultural issues, business is actively on the other side of Christian values. A few years ago, uh, columnist David French of National Review, he was lamenting this progressive drift in business, and he offered this challenge. He said, conservatives must do the hard work of institution building and institution joining of reshaping the notion that the best conservatives are those who become activists or politicians. Board members and CEOs can have far more cultural impact than governors or legislators. A single high-level conservative academic program can place top talent in every major industry. And I'll tell you, when I read that as the dean of a, of a business school, that really resonated with me and, and a call for us to be uh, putting top talent in every industry. And, and I, that's, I start asking additional questions. What if Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk or Tim Cook were Christians? How would the world look different in that case? And, you know, while Cedarville has done an outstanding job in the past, primarily because of the great talent of the students that come through, as well as our outstanding faculty, uh, we are not sending many grads into firms like Amazon and Google and Airbnb. These emerging industries is not where we tend to send our, grad, our grads to these firms that are radically shaping our culture. And just as an example, so Stanford's just a little bit less than double our size. And in 2017, they had over 5,000 startups. The Boston area with MIT and Harvard had almost 2,000. And the New York City, New Jersey area with Cornell, Columbia, and NYU had almost 1,000. In the year 2017, Cedarville University had zero known startups. This has to change. So our, our focus right now, we think that really the, the biggest opportunity going forward it, for, to advance the cause of Christ is likely going to be effective ministry through our marketplace settings. It clearly is the mission field in a post-Christian America. Further, we think that about every 20 years or so, there's a significant change in leadership of culture as companies emerge. What if we were able to equip our students with the relationships and the tools to be part of the emergent marketplace culture of the future? And following that, how do we position our stakeholders to be in positions of marketplace leadership much faster in the future? So we started doing our own strategic plan here at Cedarville and within the business school, and we realized we need to have a, a more significant focus on creating technically capable students and much more entrepreneurial. And we started down the path to more technical programming. We've had conversion of most of our programs from Bachelor of Arts to Bachelor of Science. We've created a business analytics minor for all students. We're looking to, to, to move to do more, more of skating to where the puck is going to be, as the phrase goes. But while that transformation is, is across our business school, there's a larger opportunity to create entrepreneurial opportunities in partnership with every school and department across Cedarville University. And to bring our alumni back in the fold with our university, our, excuse me, our entrepreneurship curriculum and our accelerator, which began last fall. And we've already had alumni coming back for that. So this cultural change at Cedarville is, is only beginning as we have more students coming into pitch competitions, enrolling in entrepreneurship classes, participating our, in our accelerator. But encouraging to me is God seems to be opening a much uh, larger door as we're, and he's connecting us to a larger ecosystem of Christian investors and funders that are coming to see you as part of this emerging ecosystem. 
And as Kyle mentioned, our, our vision is really to be the Midwest hub of faith-based entrepreneurship, partnering with other like-minded entities that form the broader Christian entrepreneurial ecosystem. And a key part of this vision is the initiation of the Beyond Angel Network, which many of you are a part of or are considering to be. And our motto is Christian funders of Christian founders. As our own students and alumni begin the entrepreneur process, our vision is not narrowly focused on simply Cedarville. Rather, we want to support the formation of Christian founders more broadly. This is already paying dividends for our top students. They were part of our, our venture capital analyst team in the spring, and our marketing students have, have come alongside to help some of the entrepreneurs. Potentially for the future, we might even have some of our accounting students involved with the Angel Network. The point is, as, that, as this rapid emergence has happened, we're providing real world internships right here at Cedarville, even for those students who don't necessarily want to start their own business. Our top students will have experiences that are unparalleled by our peer competitors. Other Christian universities are seeing what we're doing, are following close behind, and, and we say, come on in, the water's warm. We need Christian business formation in every area of the country. We've already found personally that, that a partnership in this area is very fruitful as we have informal relationships with Miami University as well as Baylor, of some of whose personnel are on the line. And we see the, the future of higher education as much more experiential and team-based. And the startup mentality is a key part of that for Cedarville. And I wanna thank you for being a part of it today.